Thank Hello? you for calling technical support. This is Jacob. How may I help you today? Hi Jacob, uh, I've got a bit of an issue with my computer, I'm not too sure what I've done. Uh, so basically I was on the internet looking at some of them videos, you know what I mean by videos, right? Okay, uh, so you know what, what I mean. Exact issue? So I was, I was on one of those websites and there was a little advert telling me to meet local MILFs in my area, so I clicked that. And the next thing I know my computer's okay. been infected with spyware. So I don't... Okay. I I don't think I'm gonna meet no MILFs today, but I do think I need to phone the technical support. Is there any way you could help me, please? Because I really don't know what I've done. And I'm pretty so, scared. sir, let me tell you, whenever you visit any unsecured website or accidentally click on any unsecured link, you might come across some malware, spyware and viruses. Okay? They allow access to third party who can easily assess all the details from your device and your network like it is banking details your personal details or your account details okay yeah all right okay so sir uh, help me out with the make and model number of your device the the make is hp how okay. will it pack it model uh the model i don't know Okay, not an issue. So in order to know the root cause of the issue, you need to connect your device to our secure server. Uh, yeah, how do I do that? Sir, so just follow my instruction. I will let you know how to do that. Okay, thank you very much. I do appreciate your help here. Yes. Now press Windows key and the letter R key at the same time on your device. Uh, yeah, it's brought up the, oh, the run box. It says, type the name of a program, folder, re document, or internet okay. resource, and right. Windows will open it for you. Write in there, www. www. Helpme.net. Helpme.net. Uh, okay. Um... Now press okay. Establish a support connection. Uh, your name and support key. Right, guys, we're gonna put a name. Write as, in your uh, name there, and I'm generating yes. a support key for you. Okay, thank you very much. The name is Jack M E D O F F. So Jack. Your Moore. support key is three six four. Three six four. Two three eight. Two three eight. It's two three eight. Two yes, three six four two three eight. Zero four three. Zero four three. Okay. Um continuing. Yes. Yep. Uh yeah, okay, it's so asking if I'd like to make changes to my computer. Do I press yes? Yes. Yes. All right, cool, cool. Uh, it says it's verifying the support key and it's now connecting. Uh, web expert has invited you to a session. I guess I have to press yes for that one. Yeah, Jack Medoff, right? Uh, yeah, Jack Medoff. Do you see this moving cursor on your screen? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's me. Now sit back, be relaxed, have a cup of tea or coffee, and now I'm going to assist you further. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me get the first. So, sir, where is the warning letter? The wall, oh, it basically, it was making a, be a really loud beeping noise. So I put the number down on the notepad, uh, and I turned my computer off and on again. But I, I decided, well, I need yeah. to call you because I, I don't think that would have gotten rid of the virus. But it stopped the, the annoying noise. Okay, sir. So, so let me check. Uh, did you call before to our number? Uh, no, this is the first time I've called this number. Okay, where you have written your our number in the notepad, can you show it to me? Uh, no. Is you know notepad like an actual pen and pe like paper, physical, not on a computer. Okay. Like where you write with your hand. Okay. Go on then. He's currently opening the camera app, guys. 
Uh, what are you doing there? Sir... Like, I know, I, I know I have a beautiful voice and you want to see my amazing sexy face. But I'm sorry, that, that can't happen today. I'm not. I'm just checking out the... Network SS. So you, why you close that? Oh, I don't mean to. Sorry, I pressed the wrong thing. So you no need to... So why are you touching your keyboard and mouse? I'm not. I'm asking you to sit back. Okay. Don't um, touch the keyboard and mouse. Yeah. So let me check uh, how much storage you are filled up, filled up with. Okay. Then uh, let yeah. me check what exactly where the arrow is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, will do. Cool, cool. Sounds good. The whole story is 31.5 GB. Pardon? It is too less. Nothing. Alright, okay. So what's this graph you're showing me? The Ethernet graph. What does that mean? Sir, sir, Ethernet, you are connected with the cable. Sir, sh see here, this is your network access on which you are on to. And this colorful line shows the third party access which are covering slowly to whole network and stealing everything what? once they cover the whole network till here okay they will steal everything present not only on your device on your network really okay? what through, one by through one, the performance tab in task manager on ethernet oh that's not good the... what so they can steal stuff using task manager but through my ethernet so you're telling me these lines here mean there's people stealing my data yes holy shit let me check that's not good let me check what type of ss you done here can you not check my history please i have Sir. some very embarrassing pornography in there so don't worry in order to know all the details we need to check everything and i'm not here to tell anything to anyone else okay all right okay so where is the pornography you never visited oh, pornography. so you know you know you can go in like incognito mode so it doesn't save your history like i was on this but it doesn't what chrome that? won't like i was in this mode because look chrome won't save the following information your browsing history cookies and information right. entered in forms. That's what I used to look at the pornography. Why did you want to watch some? Like, I know a banging site where you can get some good like content, mate. Once again, I did not give you permission to look at my history. Why are you looking at my history? So, you know I'm this. just checking out, did you visit any secured website or unsecured website? Uh, I don't, well, uh, the only website I visited was the uh, pornography website. So, I don't know if I got the virus from there. But, like, what do you think of this Ford Fiesta ST, though? It looks good, don't it? Like, would you buy that? Hello, sir. You there? Yes, I'm here, sir. Sir, you got a very nice choice. Hmm. Okay. So I <coughs> came up with the solution. Sir, you never visited. Uh, as I see, you didn't visit any unsecured web. Oh, I, look at this. Look. No, no, no. Link. Look at the graph. Look at the graph. It's gone past that line. What does that mean when it's gone past the yes. line? Is that, does it mean they've stolen all my data? Yes, it is covering your what? data. It is active more than you at this time. Uh, okay, let me check. Uh, so let you open... Uh, okay, go on. He's typing in net stat into CMD and he fucked it up because he didn't type it correct.
net state. Do you not know how to do net stat? You need to add a space in between net and stat. There you go. That's how yeah. you do net stat. Right. You yeah. are too intelligent. I'm more intelligent than you, mate. You're the. One, I just told you how to do that command, and you then go back to doing it wrong. And you're the technical support. You're technical support, and you don't even know how to do the net stat. Come on. What are you, what are you yeah, typing in there? I don't know. I don't know, there? sir. I'm Dot virtual box me. net stat. What does that mean, sir? What does that mean, sir? I don't think you're going to be able to successfully, successfully run any commands in CMD today because I don't think you know what you're doing. Like, it doesn't work if you type it in all capitals. You, you're typing the thing in wrong. Like, what type of command are you trying to do? Are you trying to do net view? Like, I think that's the command you wanted right there, net view. I think that's the one. Yes. Yeah, net view, not net stat. Is net view, not stat. Let me check. See, I'm smarter than you. I know Where how to. Exact, I know how to operate your scam, exactly even though you don't. Exactly the wire is. Okay, go on then. Check, sir. We are exactly the wire is. Uh, I'm going yeah. to start any scan. You're gonna start a I'm scan. I'm going to start any scan. Yes, sir. You're starting the scan by highlighting my C drive. And you're trying to delete my Wait C a second, drive. Wait sir. You're running MRT. No, sir. I'm. A Yes. Mmm. Saucy. You're a saucy guy, aren't you? The Microsoft Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. Okay. Yeah, I'm adding these all to that. Okay, uh, sir? You're trying to... You're deleted my C drive. Oh, no. What a horrible shame. You think you're gonna do anything? Like you think that's gonna stop me or whatnot? No, you're not even gonna be able to delete it because you don't have the administrator permissions to delete like the, these fucking files. So nice try with that one. I don't think you know what you're doing then, because you're trying to delete my C drive. Sir. And you're failing sir, miserably. Thank you for calling us and wasting our time. You're welcome. From you're very welcome. I'd like to thank you it. for like providing excellent content and entertaining multiple people in the process of making yourself look like a fucking idiot. So well done for that one, mate. You're a smart guy, aren't you? You're very smart. Look at this. He's in, You're in quick access and you're trying to delete shit. You're such an idiot, aren't you? So you're just going to try and delete all my stuff? Oh. Right, so how about we just stop this thing from deleting shit? You haven't managed to delete anything. Nice try, my friend. That was a, a pretty horrible fail on your part there. So, is there anything else you'd like to try before you uh, give up and crawl back into your little hole? Is there anything else you'd like to do on this like computer before you... Um, Make stuff look like a fucking idiot for multiple people to see across the world. You're still going to try and delete my C drive, even though I've told you it's not going to work. Because you do not have the administrator permissions to delete these files. And I don't, I don't think you know how to give yourself the administrator. Right, go on. I'm going to set you a challenge. Delete my C drive. Come on. You're deleting the window. Look, see, you don't. You go on. Try and get rid of that. You don't currently have the permissions to access this folder. I want you to give yourself permission to access this folder to the delete.